Hey guys, it's your boy, Tom Talks Rubbish, and I was inspired to make this video by Simon Miller. He basically put one up on his personal channel, The Miller Report, um, so go check that video out if you haven't. I will leave a link to it in the description below. But he basically did a video of 10 unbelievable facts you won't believe about him, and I thought I would basically do the same for me. So let's get into it. Number 10, I have cerebral palsy and hydrocephalus. For those of you that don't know, I am actually in a wheelchair and I have something called cerebral palsy where essentially the signals that, I'm not paralyzed, but I guess the signals that tell me to walk don't work properly. And I get, um, I just can't wait there. I can't just get up and walk, it's very weird. And very hard to explain. I'm going to do a proper video on my medical conditions eventually. But yeah, I have, and I also have something called hydrocephalus, which is where when I was first born as a baby, um, I had a bleed on my brain. And uh, basically that produces too much fluid on my brain now as it tries to protect itself. So hydrocephalus is too much fluid on the brain. And I have to, I have something called a shunt that basically um, protects and drains the extra fluid into my stomach. So yeah, I have cerebral palsy and hydrocephalus. Number nine, I don't really like sport. Like, I get people's enjoyment, like supporting a team and stuff like that and enjoyment of crowds. But I don't know, for me. And this is a very weird one. And apologies to my dad, because he's a big sports fan. He knows I'm not really a fan. But, yeah. I, I just don't get the appeal of someone kicking a ball into a goal. I don't get the appeal of someone hitting a ball with a bat and we root for that team. Which is really weird. Because as you guys know, I'm a professional wrestling fan. And that's all like stage sport. But I think I prefer the performance and the stories of that more. We'll go into that another time. Yeah, I just find some, like, some sports I like. I really like playing wheelchair basketball, but watching it again, I just find it quite boring. Like, because you know what's going to happen. They'll follow the rules and stuff like that. So there's never really any big twist. Occasionally there might be an upset victory or something. But I don't know. I just don't really like sport. Number eight is I love films. Those of you that saw my 10 reasons I love the cinema video that went out about a week ago, know that I absolutely love my films. I love any genre of films. I'll sit and watch a romantic comedy, an action film, a horror film, uh, anything in between, basically. I just love being transported to a magical world or a fictional world and being able to forget about my problems for half an hour. Uh, Half an hour, what am I talking about? About two hours while I watch the film. And I love, I also love, like, I really like constructing films and reviewing them and stuff like that. But I also really love looking into films and how they're made and stuff like that. I like deconstructing them to see how they're made. I think that's really cool. Uh, yeah. So I love films is my number eight. Number seven, I went to a special needs school. Because of my wheelchair, uh, secondary school should I say, I went to a mainstream normal primary school, but in year seven, which is the age you go to secondary school in England and the UK, I went to a special needs school, which um, essentially helped me manage my condition a bit more, helped me get more equipment and stuff that I need and just made me accept my condition a bit more and helped me to understand it a bit more and it gave me more help whereas in a mainstream school I don't really feel like I got the help with my learning because I was in a bigger class whereas at Longsdale which again I'm probably going to do a separate video on so I won't go into too much detail but the classes were smaller I had more time to do exams they weren't like everything in primary school was rush 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 whereas they took stuff a lot slower in secondary so yeah, I um, yeah, 
So I went to a special needs school. Number six is I love crime dramas. Again, I am really big into figuring stuff out. So I really like being able to figure um, figure stuff out. Like if someone's killed in a crime drama. I really like when they bring in a suspect. like, And I'm able to say, oh, I think he did it. Or I don't think he did it. But I also really like when I'm surprised and there's a twist. And I didn't see it coming. But also, I really like your procedural crime dramas, like CSI, where they show you how they get DNA samples and fingerprints and stuff like that. But yeah, I just love the figuring stuff out. I love complex characters. Like, I love my favourite villain in a crime drama is the sort of one where they've done something bad, but it turns out that there was like a complex reason. Like, this is just off the top of my head. I don't know if it's happened. But, like, they robbed the bank to pay their rent, for example. Otherwise, they were going to be thrown out. I like Shades of Grey in a crime drama, shall we say. I don't like Cut and Dry, shall we say. But, yeah, I just love crime dramas. Number five is I absolutely love the drink Fanta Fruit Twist. My mum, my brother and sister, and my stepdad will tell you, I, we have... About four can, four packs of cans come with the shopping every week. And me, my brother and sister will drink them all probably by Wednesday. And the shopping came on Friday. So, yeah. I, I just think it's like a nice tropical fruit juice. But it's fizzy. So, it's really fresh. But it's really nice. And, uh, but it still has that fizzy taste. And you don't, like, for me, lemonade has no taste. So I really like the taste of it. I don't drink it too often because I know, as I say, we go for it a lot. But I don't. I try not to drink it too much because if I have like cans just in my room, I know full well that I'll probably drink them all in one night because I enjoy it so much. But yeah, I love Fanta Fruit Twist. Um, number four is I work in a charity shop. This has only been for the past couple of, about a month, I'll say. Yeah. I basically got a job in my local charity shop in Harlow. Um, it's called Amazing Grace. Check it out if you're ever in Harlow and support them. They're basically a drug. Uh, they're basically people that help addicts and homeless people. So it's a charity that I'm really big on supporting. And I basically, I'm going to, again, a lot of these topics I'm probably going to do another video on. But to be transparent and honest, they know this. But I am working on the till there to hopefully get experience working on a till to eventually get a paid job. And, yeah, I just enjoy going there. I enjoy um, just um, uh, um, what's it called? I enjoy the people there. I enjoy what they get me to do. I enjoy having a purpose and somewhere to go every Thursday because I only work one day a week. I know that Thursday is work day. I know I have to be up at a decent time. I know I have to be ready. And yeah, I just enjoy going to work, I suppose. It's fun. So yeah, at the minute I work at a charity shop um, and behind the till and I'm learning the till and I just enjoy it. Um, number three is I have never seen a Twilight film. I hate the... I don't get the fascination with them. I really don't. They are... For me, they're too girly. As much as I love films and I try and watch all different genre of films, every time I've heard about them, they're just cheesy, like romance. And this isn't me bashing them. I will say that. They are just... For me, they are just very cheesy and romance. And I just don't enjoy them. And for me... Why would I watch something I don't enjoy? So yeah. Um, I've never seen a Twilight film. And I don't plan to. Number two is I love the gym and swimming. I know to look at me guys. I don't look like a gym buff. I don't look like I swim 40 lengths a day. But to me, the gym. Yes, the gym is about working out and getting muscles and stuff. But to me, it's more about my mental health. Like As soon as I come out of the gym... The endorphins that are released in my brain, if I'm having a bad day, if I'm having 
um, a day where I'm sad. I know, I go to the gym, endorphins are released in me that make me smile, they make me happy, and yeah, I just enjoy it. The gym, really, guys. And yeah. Um, yeah. I just enjoy going to the gym, really. And swimming is something else. Because of my wheelchair and my legs, I obviously can't move my legs very well. And being in a pool just makes me happy and just makes me feel like everyone else. And yeah, it's just the reason I enjoy it. I'll just do 20 lengths a day and really enjoy it. And number one, and this is either gonna get me stick or people are gonna love me, Oli Mers is my favorite artist. I, his songs just make me happy and they make me sad. He covers all gamuts of emotions in his music and yeah. And the fact that he's an Essex boy like myself has proved to me that he's lived his dream, why can't I live mine, sort of thing. So he is, he's a reason that I really like him. But again, I really like his music. That is one thing, one thing I'm gonna do one list one day of my top 10 favorite Oli Merz songs. We will get to that eventually though, guys. But yeah, Oli Merz is just my favorite artist. I like his style of music. I like the fact that all his songs could be different. He's really good in concert. I've seen him twice, three times. I'm not sure. I've seen him, I've seen him a few times. And yeah, I've always really enjoyed his concert. I wish he'd bring out more music. And yeah, I just love his music. All right, guys, before I ramble on anymore, I'm going to go, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure.